Hello, my wonderful people. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are. Happy new day, oh. happy um, second day in the month of May, and a happy uh, Thursday, if I'm not mistaken. We're gonna hear these two different uh, headlines, and you tell me what you think at the comment section. There's no time to waste because time is money. Soludo desperate for second term. Don't they play politics with security? I pobo indigenous people of Biafra. Don't send the, a very ubonga warning. Can't give uh, the, the, the governor of uh, Anambra State to go my child Soludo. Say, make it know as in they take a pol uh, use a people's uh, lives and property to the play politics simply because he is desperate for a second term in office. May the celebration of uh, Anambra uh, workers uh, angry over Soludo's absence at rally. They don't come out say waiting the worry this man also why ingo you know he no go show face on the day where they're supposed to be the workers day because uh, now those the workers day now in uh, salaries i mean uh, they are they are taxpayers money now in the they take settle uh, the government of anambra state and other et cetera, et cetera, uh, expenses where they, they incur for that very particular state so my people may gonna join me uh, as we Go on to read the news about the desperation of uh, Chuku Macha Soludo of Anambra State over his second time being the governor of Anambra State. So, my people, if you get this message, make sure you like, you share, you comment, or you subscribe to this channel because more of these videos will be coming your way. Oh, yeah, no, let's go there. There's no time to take time. The indigenous people of Biafra IPOP on Wednesday cautioned Governor Charles Soludo to stop playing politics with security in the state. This is uh, as IPOP accused Soludo of being desperate for a second time, hence his decision to succumb to pressure from Fulani hegemony. In a statement issued by his spokesman, Ima Powerful, IPOB lamented that the nefarious activities of the Fulani terrorists masquerading as headsmen in Anambra State, especially within Dunukofia, Oka Noto, South, Urumba Noto, and South, local government areas, is unbecoming and it is unbearable. IPOB charged residents of Anambra State to rise and fight all forms of insecurity in the state. IPOB wrote, Desperation for a second term has made uh, Chukuma, Prof. Chukuma Chasoludo to succumb to pressure from the Fulani hegemony. All well-meaning people of Anambra State, rise up now and stop at Weze before he turns Anambra State into a slaughterhouse, just like a southern Kaduna. We are also warning the Anambra State Governor Chukuma Chasoludo and his government to stop playing politics with the security of Anambra indigenous and Biafra people. Governor Soludo must stop the likes of Atoese from endangering an ambiance for his uh, safest economic interests. We remind Governor Soludo that politics for a second time must not be played with the lives of Anambara people or Anambara residents. The full terrorists, aka Hesmen Menens in the southeast, must be checkmated by ESN irrespective of the state government and federal government sabotage. The unwarranted attack against ESN by the Joint Task Force of Nigerian Security while countering Fulani Hesman destruction of farmlands on Saturday, 20th April 2024, should not repeat. ESN will not fail to retaliate against any attacks if provoked. ESN will do everything necessary to protect Biafra lands and Biafrans. In another development, Workers are very angry why Tukumacha Soludo does not join them in May Day rally. Anambra state workers on Wednesday expressed anger over the absence of the state governor, Prof. Tukumacha Soludo, at Workers' Day rally. Soludo was represented by Alex Ekweme, uh, okay, at the Alex Ekweme Square by Dr. Onye Kachuku Ibezim, the state deputy governor. The worker says Soludo stayed away from the function because he was afraid of addressing the long list of needs presented by the Nigerian Labour Congress and Trade Union Congress. They insisted that he was not a worker-friendly governor. The workers who initially refused to file out for the usual parade, which has become synonymous with the rally, said Soludo's absence was deliberate. They repeatedly shouted, 
nor to appeals for them to file out for the parade, insisting that Soludo has never attended workers' functions since he became governor. They eventually, gradually undertook the parade. The deputy governor, who later addressed the protesting workers after several efforts to calm them, assured that their grievances would soon be addressed. He said, Governor Soludo, as a worker-friendly governor, is aware of your plights. You will definitely hear from him soon. Earlier, workers in the state have presented a long list of demands. They called on the Soludo to suspend the deduction of the contributory pension from their salaries to ensure industrial harmony in the state. The state chairman of Nigeria Labor Congress, Comrade Humphrey Wafo, said the workers are worried over what he called improper introduction and implementation of the contributory pension scheme. He also said, from the beginning of the scheme, money is deducted we are really limited to the pension fund administration or administrators. Before the present administration came on board, the state were deducting only the workers' part of the contribution, even without remitting them to the various, uh, what they call it, to the various uh, pension fund uh, uh, administrators, and refused to pay the government a part. The organized labor is dissatisfied with the continued deduction, even after the recurring May Day prayers by organized labor congress for the suspension of the third so-called scheme. We call on the governor, who we believe is not only worker-friendly but uh, hate injustice with, with a passion, as a matter of urgency, to suspend the deduction of the contributory pension from the worker's salary so as to ensure industrial harmony in the whole of Anambra State. Young lady, don't give up the ghost after smoking colos in Anambara State. <laughs> a yet to be identified lady has reportedly died in Anambara State after allegedly smoking Colorado, a, psycho a, a psychotropic a drug popularly known as colos, the apium for the popular slang on colos. The incident reportedly happened over the weekend in Oka, the state capital, where the lady was said to have repeatedly smoked the psych uh, psychotropic and, and uh, acted in strange ways before finally giving up the ghost. This was collaborated by a video and voice note currently trending on social media about the incident. While the video shows the lifeless body of the victim lying close to the Y junction axis of the Unizik Junction, Opono Road, the masculine voice notes of an eyewitness that accompanies, accompanies it explain that uh, she became unconscious and started misbehaving after smoking the dangerous drug, even to the point of perambulating the street stark naked. This, the eyewitness said, made some sympathizer to hold and assist her with a cloth to cover up her, her unclothedness or nakedness. According to the eyewitness said, some sympathizer to hold, to hold and assist her with a cloth to cover up her nakedness. According to the sympathizer, we were also to have fed her with enough soaked gare to dose the effect of the substance on her. It was, uh, however, reported that shortly after she began to regain her unconsciousness, she went down, she went and smoked the Colorado again, which eventually led to her collapse, downfall, and consequent death along the very busy road. Rubbish. Her corpse was also said to have been taken away by her people after some passers-by recognized her and invited her family members who came and evacuated her corpse. When recently contacted by this, uh, by this uh, reporter, Izuno Kafo, the state uh, commandant of the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency in Anambra, Mr. Daniel Onisi described such incident as one of the numerous inherent dangers and con consequences of drug abuse, and now it destroys the youth. 
According to him, Colorado is a psycho psychotropic and one of the dangerous drugs that have rendered and still render many people useless in the society. Adding that Colos is also addictive, while its effect is instantaneous. As it flows straight to the bloodstream, affecting one's mental wellness or well being. The NDLEA both said that such things are what the agency has been preaching against through its virus sensitization programs in secondary schools and other public places in the state, including through the radio program NDLEA and You Watch, which hosts from 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. every Tuesday on Anambara Broadcasting Service, 88.5 FM. That is why everybody should stay off or stay away from drugs and join us to fight drug abuse. If you know anyone who uses or deals on drugs, make NDLEA. No, people should not be harboring such persons or take drugs as a business. Only she emphatically stated in a telephone interview with this reporter. So, my wonderful people, Colorado, don't send this young girl to her early grave. Even when uh, she'd been assisted in the first uh, attempt and she went back again to smoke the psychopathic uh, drugs that sent her to her early grave. Anyway, this one does no need to tell her, may her soul rest in peace. Her soul can never rest in peace because she killed herself by herself and with herself. So, my people, I beg go make on a continue to the like, share, comment, and make sure to keep subscribing to this channel. More importantly, you make sure you tag Soludo and that was it about the crime that they are about to carry out in the Biafran region. Do not forget to do that. I'll be right back again. Just have a nice day. Kemesianu.